excited about, about being at Comic Con and presenting today? Fans. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. The fan, I mean, the excitement of the fans. I think mm -hmm. this is, our panel is probably as close to being a beetle. I know, that's what I said last year. I was like, oh my God, I'm like a beetle. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, otherwise, you're looking online, you're in chat room. You know, how do you interact with the fans or hear back or actually see? You, you know, Googling our ratings just isn't the same as looking at those faces. Right. Um, so let's talk about the season because yeah. you guys both have amazing storylines. Um, a lot of it's been about relationships for mm -hmm. your characters. What can you tell me that's coming up? <laughs> well, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, but yeah. we'll come up with something. Um, Joe, you go first. Well, um, one of the episodes coming up, I, I'm allowed to, to sexually eviscerate mm. another cast member. <laughs> I guess is how I would describe it. There's that. <laughs> so there's that. That's uh, a good one. <laughs> little, little magic mic action. <laughs> there were so many things I thought to say and I edited all of them. <laughs> Please don't, <laughs> Pam. I mean, Kristen. Right? I know, I should be Pam. I shouldn't be Kristen. Yeah. So I was just thinking that's, well. Mm. <laughs> there's nothing little about that. <laughs> Yeah, it is about relationships. I mean, I always see the campaign that the PR people came up with at the beginning of the year, and I think it's sort of separate from what we did. Mm -hmm. And then a couple months into it, I do enough interviews where I go, everything is at stake. Oh, everything's at, oh. So I feel that everything really is at stake. For Pam, you know, her maker could be dead. She doesn't know, So that, and she, her life is at stake, and now she has a progeny that she's responsible for, and we saw her backstory. So it's it's a it expanded this year for me. Pam became totally 3D. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like I'm having the, the full True Blood experience. I get to have sex with a bunch of people. No, I, I get around sexually. I kill people. Like it's pretty rad. It's Let's so awesome. Killing and killing and having sex. I'm That's what True Blood's right all now. about. Yeah. I'm kind of totally jealous. The full spectrum. <laughs> I don't. You know. I don't. Actually, we realized the other day I haven't killed anyone on no. camera. Really? I know. I'm sort of yeah. horrified. You would think? Yeah. Right. Is that something you would like Pam to do? <laughs> well, you know, I kind of look at the other vampires and what they've gotten to do, and so I think it was the beginning of three, where Alex is, he has foil in his hair and he's ripping apart bodies in the saw room, we call it, and I thought, oh, I'm so jealous, I want to do that, I want to rip bodies apart, and I haven't gotten to. <laughs> There's still time, I guess. Right? <laughs> right? We're going season six. Right. Ripping people apart verbally. Yeah, that's right. What that's what I do. Yeah. 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 You it's know, that's the more evolved way of Murder by character assassination. Uh, yeah. There. So, yeah. You're hired. Done. Um, let's talk about Alcide and Suki. They mm -hmm. had their nice makeout session that yeah. ended with a... Well, it was a nice makeout session, but there's actually an extended version of that scene that's on the cutting room floor somewhere that was... Really? Not so nice, let's say. Well, nice probably to women in prison. <laughs> I was fully hoping... I was like, man, I'm gonna get a lot of letters from women in prison after this one. And then they, they kind of they cut a lot, shaved a lot out of it, so... Um, it's somewhere, somewhere on the floor. Somewhere. It was on the blooper reel. We saw it at the wrap party. Yeah, I'm sure reel. lots of people love to see that version. It's pretty great. It's pretty hot. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Yeah. It was hard on the set, literally. <laughs> yeah, the set. You know, the set took the set a beat. The set suffered. Suki's house needed a little. Well, there were long there. conversations prior to this season with Alan Ball specifically about what having sex with a werewolf would be like. And, you know, we, we both agreed that, you know, the girl wakes up in the morning and kind of does that, oh, thing, and then, you know, does the cowgirl walk the whole day. You know, like, what the hell just happened to you? I just had sex with a werewolf. You and know. if she has sex with a werewolf after you've turned, it's just bestiality, but... We had that conversation as well. I was wondering. Yeah, I think... That's yeah, a fucky that, conversation. There was, we had that conversation. Would they shift in the middle of sex and, ha you know, it gives you more, more, more. I think I pulled Kama Sutra. A whole other. <laughs> a whole a Kama whole, Sutra animal yeah, rights. Yeah, there's a whole thing. PETA would be all over us. 
<laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> right, you guys are done shooting this season, though, right? You've shot the finale? Wednesday, as of two days ago. Okay, and Troopin is known for their, like, crazy finales every yes. season. Yes, Can you, is this one going to top what we're, we've already seen? In my world, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, trying to think of what I can say, you know, the authority is wreaking havoc in the vampire world and alliances are shifting and and so it's it's very intense i i was glad that um oh gosh it's so hard when you can't say anything last year you know we had the big finale and pam shoots the rpg and and we shot that in a not very glamorous location we were in la puente <laughs> Exactly, no one knows where La Puente is. And it was a street corner there for five nights and we had so much fun and I kept asking, am I gonna have my La Puente this year? And um, so I, I'm, I'm happy with what, what I get to do and... I'm happy with what I get to do. Um, yeah, this year's great for me at the end. Um, I think my, my father, who's a very bloodthirsty individual, uh, he's he's gonna like it too, so uh, so that's good. It's very yeah. very wolfy. Uh, it's Ro pretty great. Yeah, Robert Patrick shows up on the show as my as mm -hmm. dad, and he's he's there at, you know towards the end of the season. So our stuff together is great. So I love that, um, and I've loved getting to work with Dale Dickey this year. I think we've done oh, some great yeah. stuff too. So she's uh, she's around with me there at the end, and. Um, yeah, it's great. But you can tell sort of from our reactions because we read script 12 and then I was dying for script one of season six, you know? So mm. it's so, it's really good. Yeah. You know, we have the same reactions that the fan have. Yeah. fans have. We just have to wait less time, you know? Right. We'll wait till November to keep right. reading. But we have to wait longer to talk about it, which is kind of tough. Right. right. So I want to tell everybody everything, go, do you believe what the, and I can't say anything. I know. And then I have to find tricky ways of, Saying nothing. Saying nothing. Yeah. But we put in clues. Yeah, we dropped clues. If you went back and looked at the footage totally. of our interviews at the beginning of the season, you'd be like, oh, they're so tricky. I'm always dropping clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're at Comic-Con and it is about the fans here, mm -hmm. can you tell me about some surprising fan interactions you've had? Because you guys have really... Do your fans wear fans. capes? Uh... <laughs> No, I, mine. Those are the ones to watch on. Wear by the way. flannels. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I think there's kind of a there's a hybrid fan that's now been born out of Magic Mike mm -hmm. with the combination uh, of True Blood. Yeah, are they separate? No. Are so now it's like yeah, it's like that's like a True Blood fan with less inhibitions. So that's like a True Blood fan on crack, or, you know what I mean? That's well, like, I now, you know, where before it was like, oh, growl for me, or, you know, uh -huh. be, be that werewolf guy, or like, come on, like, you know, and, and then it's growl, like, and then there's the fans on the other side that were like, hey, be, be Big Dick Richie, do yeah. like a little body roll. Now yeah. it's like, there's a combination of like, werewolf stripper. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> werewolf stripping, and like growl while you're body rolling and grinding me, you know, so there's a, <laughs> It's an odd, it's an odd mix, but but I think it's working. That is a movie that is meant to be made. Werewolf strippers in London. <laughs> Can you imagine if you just ob oblige them and I'd go around biting people all of Comic Con? That those are our yeah. big requests. I'm just sniffing, growling. But and there grinding. was that girl last year at the signing who asked you to. She had a cut and asked you to lick it. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. Did you? Did I lick her? <laughs> that would be unhygienic. Uh, security ushered her away from me before I, I had a chance to respond. Yeah. Well, then there was the hall pass thing that's been going on since that movie came out. So now it's like, hey, can my wife take a picture sitting on your lap? And you're like, what? And he's like, come on, man, it's my wife, it's cool. And I'm like, I'm not cool with it. I'm a little weirded out. And I, this is how weird stuff starts. Was that a term before the movie? Hall pass? Well, it's like, it like the if list. You're in a movie the that list. creates a term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And do people expect you to be like Pam, like snappy and sassy? They do, and I feel like I could get away with a lot more than mm -hmm. I try to get away with. And you know, we did a panel, or I did a panel, and the guy said, "Say something that's like Pam," and I went, "Fuck you." And they loved it. And I thought, oh, how odd. That's the first, you know what I mean? You, right. That's wanted? Oh, okay. And because I'm from Wisconsin, so, you know, there's a certain manners and they're very sweet people. And I, I feel like I could be a little bitchier. 
Let's do it. Starting now. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, and, it works for me. Did it? Kind of did. <laughs> See, yeah, it oddly works. Yeah, I was like, oh, should, I should be mad if it's something, but I'm not. I'm surprisingly <laughs> not mad like, when you do it. Anyone else, I would be that super pissed off. That was your expression. Off. You yeah. were like, mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm oddly okay with it. Yeah, that. I'm all right. And finally, can you guys tell me something that you geek out about that gets you really nerdy and excited? I geeked out about, we were talking about Trisha Helfer when I met her at one of these, because I was watching Battlestar on the iPad, and I was behind on TV, so I was watching it really concentrated. So in my mind, when I wasn't watching it, the ship was in peril, you know, and I was worried about them, and that's when I met Trisha Helfer. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God! And then and she, she hadn't seen True Blood, so she was like, oh, thanks, nice to meet you, and went like this for a photo. And I went, oh, yeah. So I have this really awkward photo of Trisha Helfer somewhere. <laughs> and then Mal and Ackerman, too, because Watchmen's one of my favorite. Huh. And we were coming into the signing as they were going out, and I went, oh, my God. And she did the same thing. She was like, <laughs> looking to the sign. And I was like, no, I, uh. That's hilarious. Well, I mean, I'm a huge, I've been, I'm a big, like, I love art, like, and artists and, and, and things, and um, and I'm a big fan of, of Shepard Fairies and have been for a while, and we become friends because he loves True Blood, I love him. He came to the premiere. He came to the premiere, came on set one night, signed a bunch of stuff for everybody. Um, anyway, he, he, these, he made me, in, in the, in the image of the old, like, OG, Andre the Giant stickers, he made me this, which is actually on its way to me right now. Stuck in traffic. Stickers. But on its way. He made the Al Seed awesome. the Wolf has a pack official Shepherd Fairy sticker, which is on the way, which I'll be handing out to. That's great. Lucky fans at Comic Con. And but we're not, that none of us, yeah, we're not jealous. Anna Kendrick and I were like, no, we're not jealous. I'm surprised you're talking to me right now. I know. There's a camera. <laughs> she has to. Otherwise, I mainly love that. Joe. Fuck you had a lot on it. <laughs> yeah. That was because of that. Yeah.